we looked at um, dollar yen and we looked at Aussie dollar. And at the time, we looked as if the dollar it looked as if the dollar was going to weaken further. Ultimately, that hasn't happened. We've seen a significant rebound in the greenback and a little bit of further weakness in equity markets more broadly. And that does appear to be slightly worrying because I think the change of narrative in the last 24 hours in terms of how the dollar is looking does appear to suggest that we can probably expect further weakness in commodity prices um, and a significant rebound in the dollar and that's likely to weigh on equity markets more broadly. Now yesterday we looked at the pound and we were looking at the potential for a little bit of a move higher. The picture has changed somewhat since then because on the daily chart we can see here what is known as a key reversal day or a bearish engulfing day and that's very negative for the pound and that does appear to suggest that the potential moves higher that we've been targeting over the course of the past few days could well actually start to run out of steam and certainly on the basis of this chart here um, there is potential for a move back to around about 144.70 and potentially even lower towards uh, around about 143. It's important not to underestimate the importance of this bearish reversal coming as it does at the same time as a fairly positive reversal or a positive indicator on the US dollar index and we're going to look at that as well along with euro dollar because there does appear to have been a slight sea change in sentiment over the last 24 hours and that could well be the precursor to a little bit of dollar strength after a prolonged period of US dollar weakness. So certainly looking at the oscillator here, we do appear to be rolling over on the daily chart. So the, the bearish reversal on the daily chart does appear to suggest that we could actually start to roll over. The key level that I'm looking for here is around about 144.70, 144.80. That's the next key support. It's also the lows that we saw on this little doji candle back here at the end of April. So certainly keep a very close eye on that area of support over the course of the, of the, next, uh, the next couple of hours. Looking at the dollar index, this is also quite an important chart in the overall scheme of things. We can see from this chart here, this looks very, very much like a daily hammer. Um, and certainly on that basis there is a risk that maybe we could actually see a bit of a rebound in the dollar index back towards this, this, this series of highs that we saw in the middle of April around about the 95.20 area. If that happens then that's likely to have a spillover effect on to euro dollar and we can see that pretty much on the basis of this daily chart here we have what is what looks suspiciously like a potential shooting star a very long upper shadow which appears to suggest that potentially for all the bullishness over the last six days investors and traders are now looking to take a little bit of profit on their long euro positions the key support on euro dollar that i'm looking at in particular will be this series of highs that we saw at the beginning of april between 114.20 and 114.40 certainly think there's a reasonable chance <coughs> we could well look to test that, that, that area here around about 114.20 over the course of the next few trading sessions which brings me neatly on to dollar yen and <coughs> as regards to the last 24 hours the key level still remains at the 200 week moving average around about 105.20, 105.30. We hit lows of 105.50 yesterday so it's important to keep an eye on that but on the basis of a slightly stronger greenback, you've got to question whether or not maybe we've seen a short-term base in dollar yen and could see a move back towards around about 107.80 in the short to medium term. That would certainly be an area that I would be looking at with these series of lows through here. It's very easy to draw the trend line resistance in through there. If we look at the lows there, and then we look at the peaks here, we've fallen sh slightly short of that. We're back above 106.70 for the time being. To stabilise, I would hope to see a move back through 107.70 to retest this area through here on the Ichimoku cloud uh, resistance currently on the four hour chart. So that's it for today. Thanks very much for listening. This is Michael Hewson talking to you from CMC Markets.